Joker started right up. Oh, snap. So it seems like gas is leaking from the accelerator pump, like from around that gasket. I would love to see this setup run, but if it gives me too much trouble, I'm gonna slap a Makuni on here real quick. I wasn't trying to deal with the carburetor on there with it leaking, trying to figure out why it's leaking, how to get it fixed, and so on and so forth. I was like, eh, where's the harm in adding a knockoff Makuni, even though it says Makuni, you can't get an authentic Makuni for 35 bucks. We have an authentic Chakuni, aka a Chinese Makuni. Uh, and then we're going to fit this onto the block. We're going to use a Tecumse $12 intake manifold attachment that I got off of eBay. So I think this is going to be the ticket. It literally lines up perfect with the port and the manifold is almost directly where it needs to be. Now, I think these are like two inch bolts, something like that. Um, and that should work because this one side of the intake manifold is thicker. So, enough talking, let's get it installed. So of course the install is gonna be like any other install. Make sure your gasket is on there, of course. And then just gonna install it. I mean, there's not a, not a whole lot to it. And for this, and I believe these came off a Tecumse flat head as well. So I guess uh, Tecumse and Briggs uh, used very similar motors because this literally mounts up just like it's factory. I'm gonna drill something out and I'll be right back. It clears the pipe. Uh, the choke lever goes almost all the way down. It's on there. It fits. Fits pretty good. So I can see why, like the fifty-six dollar adapters, uh, have a little angle to it, to where it sends the the car away from the block. But for twelve bucks, I'm not complaining. So I may fix up a, a heat shield or something to go in between the uh, pipe and the car. The 24 Jacuni work. Uh, I saw the torque converter kick on and start turning, and it was fine at idle. So that works. I mean, surprisingly, it's not that loud. I thought it was going to be way louder than that being straight pipe, but it's not that bad. And I don't know if you can hear in the video that when I started to rev it, it started to break up. 
So my one thing with this carburetor that I was worried about was it being too much carburetor for the motor. So I was worried about it uh, basically just flooding. But when I revved it and I heard it break up, I was actually happy that I heard it break up because that means that it's lean. That means that I have room to jet the carburetor up. I have my GX200, my son's GX200, and the 212 on my Warrior jetted to 130, and which has been a 206cc, and it's actually modded, or was supposed to be modded, with a, a rod, um, piston, springs. You know, I'll probably start at like 120 or so. Uh, I might start at 110. I don't want to go too big because I don't have any other jets. I drill my own jets. So I may start at like a 110 jet, 120 jet, and kind of see uh, how it runs. But I'll do that at a later time. I'm just happy that this joker runs. With that being said, this will be the end of this episode. We got the Tecumseh intake manifold with the 24 millimeter Chikuni on, and it works and it runs. And I did put the Raptor front cover back on until next time. Hopefully next episode we'll be getting it on the bike. I need to, if I haven't got this figured out already, I need to get that rear suspension figured out with the spring that's right there. But we'll get to that. Until next time, peace.